Hi everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Usted no escucha. Hi, Karina. Hi, Dani. Carlos, can you hear me, guys? Me lo haré escuchar. Yes. Yes. One sec. Something is going on because I cannot hear a thing. Okay. Okay, I am reading that you see yes, but I cannot hear you. So can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, I can hear now. Okay. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Good so evening. Thank... Good evening, guys. How are you? I'm fine. Great, great. So happy Monday. How are you? Great. Nice to see you. Marvin, amazing. I'm so glad to see you, Marvin. How are you? Hi, Karina. Hi, Hi teacher. Hello. Hi. Hi, Brian, Carlos, Moses. Good evening. How good are evening. you guys? How was your Monday? Very good. Good. Great, great, great. So what did you do on your, on your weekend? I was like reading there that some of you like did exercise, watch TV. So what do you do on your weekend? Que hicieron, guys? What do you do? I watch uh, sports and series on Netflix. Oh, you watch sports. Okay. So uh, I guess when you say sports, you mean like the soccer match? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Was it a good game? Yes. I mean, I, I didn't watch it. That's why I'm I'm asking. <laughs> okay, I fell asleep. Guys, vieron el partido? Did you watch the match? Yes, teacher. Yes. Was it okay? Estuvo bien? Was it good? Yes, and how do you say empate? <laughs> draw. There was a draw. Oh, was a okay. Draw. So there was a draw. All right. Yeah, I started watching it, but then I fell asleep, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure, okay, how it went. Eh, Eduardo, good evening, Guadalupe, hello, Sarai. Hi, Sarai, how are you? Hi, right. teacher. Hello, Very good. Miss. Great. Thanks a lot for joining. Thank you. All right, guys, so you watch the soccer match. Uh, ¿Qué más hicieron? What else did you do? Hi. Help the organization and uh, a uh, wrestling throne tournament for the okay. teenagers. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! So, uh, is there like a like a teenage teenage group? Teenage group. Yes, but that is within this, right? Yes, they compete. Compete. Oh, or or do you work, or are you like in a different organization? Uh, competent. Oh. Uh, no, I, I am, I am part for the, the directive, directiva, directive. Oh, okay, from the board, from the, the board, the from the board federation. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you are part of the board. Oh, nice. That's super cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's nice. Anadel, my second job. <laughs> oh, but are you a volunteer? Good evening, is teacher. That I am a volunteer. Hello. Oh, okay. I yes, I understand. Brenda, Hello, good teacher. evening. Hello. Hello, Miss. How are you? Fine, teacher. Great. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Brenda. How are you? Good. 
Very good teacher. Nice. That that's amazing to hear. I'm really happy to see you guys. Thank you. Especially because esta semana terminamos la número tres. Oh my god. So we are like running super fast. Um, this coming Wednesday terminamos la sesión, well, la unidad número tres. Y el próximo Wednesday terminamos el módulo. How do you feel about that, guys? So time is definitely flying. Eh, hemos tenido asistencia súper, súper buena this module. Y no solo asistencia, sino participación, you know. I feel everybody is improving a lot. Everybody is practicing more, you know, getting more vocabulary, quitándose el miedo. So amazing. I'm super excited to, to hear you guys every single day. Um, vi por ahí que algunos ya me avanzaron con hasta la unidad número cuatro. Ya me están trabajando con los ejercicios. So great, you know, I'm, I was super excited to see you guys working on the exercises as well. Si pueden avanzar, you know, um, siempre mi recomendación es que avancen todo lo que puedan para no, que no se les acumule y que no se les haga después Más difícil, right? Because that is not the idea. Que tengan como tan saturado, like with a lot of exercises. Y especialmente porque la última sesión, eh, pues en la última ya eh, está el examen final también, right? So, avancen tanto como puedan. El día miércoles voy a estar revisando quienes me hacen falta todavía con la, con la unidad 3. But si tienen un par de minutitos, guys, desde el teléfono, right? Podemos hacerlo. We can do it. Y antes de iniciar, solo voy a pasar a asistencia. Me regalan confirmación verbal, porfa. Ay, sí. Eh, bueno, Ana del Mía está acá. Thank you so much. Brian. A Brian, Ay, sí, lo vi. Brian sí lo vi súper temprano today. That's amazing. Brian, todos los días. It has to be every day. Ya se fue, Brian. <laughs> ok. Uh, eh, Danis. Te asustó. Te asustó, Brian. <laughs> oh, no veo a Danis. That's weird, ok. Eh, Saraí, me regala confirmación, por favor. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Eduardo. Present. Thank you so much. Eduardo, how are you? Eduardo, talk to us. Tell us, what did you do on your weekend? <laughs> Eduardo no nos quiere hablar. <laughs> no, nothing special, just being uh, at home. Oh, okay. But do you work on your weekend? Do you work on Saturday and Sunday? No, thanks. Well, I used to work on Saturdays, but the schedule changed um, maybe three months. Ago. I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. But no, I just work from Monday to Friday. Wow, what a blessing. That's amazing. So normally, what do, what do you do on your weekend? So you stay at home or do you go out and do exercise or watch movies? What do you do in your free time? Actually, I go out a lot, but uh, this month I have a, I had a car accident. So oh. I have a car, so I stay at home <laughs> all the weekend. Oh, but when you say a car accident, do you mean like your car was crashed? Yeah. Or, but are uh, you okay? Are you fine? Yeah, yeah, you no, fine? no, nothing serious, just the material damage, you know? Oh. But, so the car is in the... In the, the workshop. Sorry? In the workshop. Yeah. The, the car is in the workshop. So, but when you say like uh, material damage, you mean a dent? Like un golpecito? <laughs> Like no, a dent? No, it was a big one because somebody is <laughs> se fue a Somebody ah, was. Somebody crashed the back side of your the car. The back side of the car, yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, but, but I'm glad you're fine. So I'm glad. Yeah, you know, nothing's you're serious. Okay. Ooh, all right. Okay. Oh, thank you, Norberto. Okay, thank you, Eduardo. Nice. Eduardo is really nice to listen to you. <laughs> so talk to us more often, you know. Um, so I get to, to hear your voice um, as well. Guadalupe, hi Guadalupe, good evening. Good evening. How are you Guadalupe? I'm fine. Are you at home already or are yes. you at the office? No, I'm home, at home. Oh, nice, nice, thank you. Jackie, Jackie, oh, I don't see Jackie today. 
Jocelyn. Jos. I don't see Jocelyn either. Okay. Uh, Jose Ignacio. No. Uh, Norberto? Well, Norbert, yes, I got you. You said it was raining. Yes, it's your present. Thank uh, you. It is a raining a lot in my house. <laughs> I can hear that, but thank you so much for being here. Esperemos que no, esperemos que no, no se le vaya la luz, right? Hopefully it won't happen. Um, okay. Mr. Bonilla? Hi, teacher. Hi, Alex. How are you? I'm fine. I hear. Uh, the last uh, week, I watched in TV the football soccer play. You watched it? Yes, uh, the football soccer. And oh. The game. The game, the football, so football soccer, El Salvador versus Honduras. Did you go to the stadium? No, no, in my home. In my home. Oh, it's okay. muy Go to the stadium. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, it is. It is right. So it's kind of dangerous to go there. But I thought you meant because les tiran agua, you know, and everything. <laughs> I thought when you said no. dangerous, it refería como a todo lo que le tiran at the stadium. <laughs> okay. For COVID, no, for COVID. COVID. I'm sorry. You're right. you totally right about it. Um, Marvin Lopez. Marvin oh, está super temprano ahí. Excelente, Marvin. I want to see you every day here, super early as well. Thank you. Ready to practice today? I hope so. <laughs> okay, I see you muted, but but I hope so, Marvin. Thank you so much. Uh, Clary? Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hi, Clary. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Clary, le debo todavía eh, la actualización de la tarea. Oiga. Yes, Miss. So, <laughs> please. I know. Yo sé que adelanto bastante, pero deme un par de segunditos ahí. Eh, mientras okay. me resuelve. Eh, mantén, well, no maintenance, but soporte. Mientras tanto, avance con el resto, right? In the meantime, you can go ahead with the rest, but yes. Okay, Yo sé que estoy pendiente. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Moses. Hi, Moses. How are you? Uh, hi. I have a problem, teacher, with my internet connection in my house. Is it raining? No, it's a problem oh. in the connection. Yeah, I can hear you cutting off a little bit. So, si se siente más cómodo, you know, turn off the camera. Ayúdenos mucho, you know, solo confirmándonos con el chat, just in case something happens. Uh, thank but thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, so I got Nelson. I don't see Nelson. Pedrina, regáleme confirmación, por favor, Pedrina. Hello, teacher. Ahí está. Hello. <laughs> thank you, Pedrina. Glad to see you there. Hope you're doing fine. René, gracias por la confirmación. Thank you so much for that. Richard. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Present, Me imagino que está present. trabajando. Thank you, Richard. Present. Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Hi, thank you. Thank present. you so much. Brenda. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Brenda, well, yeah, she was right there. Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Thank you. Hello, present. Hello. How are you? Very fine. Great, great. Glad to hear that. Present teacher, sorry. Thank, no worries. Thank you so much, Brenda. Yeah, I heard your voice some seconds ago. Thank you. Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. So, so. Oh, are you feeling a little sick? Um, estoy con síntomas gripales. Y Ooh. mi garganta está un poco afectada. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sí, le escucho la voz un poco lastimada. Pero espero mejor a mí y que no sea nada grave, right? So, gracias. If God pero really estaría aquí escuchando fine. la clase. Sí, gracias. Perfect. Nos ayuda mucho con, 
la parte de, de listening comprehension. Y, y e igual, you know, si se siente un poquito mal, nos puede siempre dar los ejemplos or anything en el chat. And that's perfect. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, teacher. And I got Karina, the wrestler. <laughs> so thank you, teacher. Karina. Teacher. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, Danny says, said he is in the traffic jam, but when he arrived, he connected. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Ignacio, thank you. I already saw you there. So thank you so much. Enjoy, no se preocupe, enjoy it. <laughs> so later, later you tell us. Que disfrute, Susana. Um, it's my dad. Yeah, enjoy it, no worries. I was missing, yeah, I'm missing Danny, Jackie, Jocelyn, Nancy. Okay. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for um, joining today, Seisha. Let's get started today with some of the activities we are going to be checking, especially because ya vamos con la, eh, ahora la sesión número 13, right? We are having session number 13. Terminamos miércoles, as I said, y luego, pues, ya nos quedan solo un par de sesiones más to finish the module. Let me present my screen here, and so we can start practicing a little. Ahora vamos a revisar un poquito del contraste entre eh, presente continuo, right? No es un tema nuevo, I know you know it, but eh, más que la parte gramatical, va a ser la parte de práctica la que vamos a hacer. And uh, so let's get started. Da, 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 da. El día de ahora tenemos one on one con el Mr. López. So si me regala un par de minutitos, Marvin, later. Uh, that would be great. Si tiene algún problema con conexión, me avisa para poder hacer algún tipo de de intercambio con otro compañero, right? Now, um, to get started, here we have what can you do with, all right? So vamos a revisar un par de uh, verbos, okay, acciones, actividades, tell me. So what we are going to do is this. Les voy a decir un objeto. I'm going to tell you an object. Y quiero que me digan como qué se les ocurre que se puede hacer con ese objeto. What can you do with that object? So tell me al menos 10 cosas, 10 different activities you can do with that object. Is that okay? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, me. The first object that I have for you is a watermelon, okay? So a watermelon. So mm -hmm. what can you do with a watermelon? It is in the chat, right? A I'm watermelon screaming. is a fruit. It is a fruit, it is uh, green outside, it is red inside, it is rounded like this, it is sweet, and it has seeds. Tiene semillitas. The question is, what can you do? ¿Qué se puede hacer con una watermelon? What can you do with a watermelon? Tell me 10, 10 activities. Pueden escribirlas, you can write them I in the swing. chat. Jewish. Okay. Okay, you can make watermelon juice. Okay, juice, ice, ice cream. cream. Okay. Miss, yeah. okay. I don't, I don't uh, remember. How do you say mermelada? I, uh, gel, wait, I'm gonna write it here. So it can be mermelade or or it can be a jam. So you can make jam. Let's call it jam. A fruit salad. Okay, so you can make jam, you can make fruit salad, watermelon juice, ice cream, somebody said, llevan cuatro. <laughs> we need like six more. What else can you do with a watermelon? Teacher. Yes? Take it. In, in English, in Spanish, we make uh, for charamuscas. And <laughs> well, the, 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 name, the, 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 the name is the same. The same. Yeah, because I, charamuscas I doesn't exist in English. So we can say like a snowy, quizás, como un raspado, probably like a, like a minuta. But no, I wouldn't say frozen watermelon, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Frozen watermelon. Come on, guys. What can you do with uh, watermelon? Uh, yes. Uh, choco melon. Oh. 
No sé cómo decirlo. Chocolate. Um, oh, I don't know. Like uh, frozen chocolate watermelon. <laughs> Or like Eskimo. Eskimo watermelon. <laughs> okay. Eskimo watermelon. Frozen. Okay. Fresh. Fre ¿Cómo es fresco, Miss? Like a drink. Fresco. A drink. Una a bebida. Drink. A drink. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. You can make drinks. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we got enough. Okay, I think we got enough. Now I get the next one. Oh, desserts. Yes, you can make desserts. Okay, yes, that's okay. Now, next one. Buy. Buy. You can buy. De comprarla. No, buy. Or like, de mordida. No, cake, cake, cake. Como cake. Como cake. Oh, you can make a cake. Yes. Yes. No sé si se puede. Yes. <laughs> But yes. probably, why not, yes. right? Okay. Yes. Maybe yes. Uh, Maybe practice. you can do it. What else? Can I return? Uh, practice. Creo que se dice pastel. No, pan. No, cake. No, pan se dice bread. Bread? Bread. Bread. Oh, bread. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So a bread with watermelon? Yes. A bread a candy. Okay. Okay. Well, suena como un poco extravagante. Yes. <laughs> eh, en eh, panadería uh, es un parece que es. Hay, hay un pan de esos que son tipo zapatillos. Nah, kidding, the watermelon. Yes, yes. Wow, I need yes. to give it a try. Uh, watermelon, banana. yeah, watermelon is my favorite fruit. Wow, so, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I need to give it a try, definitely. Okay, very nice, guys. Let's go with next. A piece of wood. What can you do? Dígame 10 actividades que pueden hacer con a piece of wood. What can you do? Wood, para empezar, wood. What is the meaning of wood? Madera, Miss. Can you yes. say, can you, can you say the table? A table, you can make a table, all right. What? What do you mean? Chabote, barco. Ah, a boat, okay. Boat. Yes, you can make a boat. You can make a table, we got two. Give me more. What else, guys? What can you do? Share, Miss. A share. Okay. Yes. Uh, miss. A coach. A bed. Okay. What else? Uh, miss, backrest is el respaldo de la cama. Oh, okay. Okay. Like the back holder. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, what else can you do? What else comes to your mind? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What can you do with a piece of wood? Closet. A closet, yes. You can definitely make a closet. What else? You can make a fire. <laughs> Se puede hacer un fuego, right? You can make Door, a fire. Miss. Door, exactly. What else can you make? A chair. Fire. A fire, a chair. Very good. ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mind? A wooden house. Oh, okay. A wooden house, yes. yes. Or like a tree house, right? Yes. Velvet. Uh, can you repeat that, Richard? Velvet. Oh, shelves. Uh -huh, yes. The shelves. Como los yes. estantes, right? Yes. Spanish uh, mm -hmm. repisa, Yes. So, repisas or estantes. Exactly. Uh, so, shelf. Shelf. Uh -huh. I really got a book at my home. Uh, okay. You yes. said? You read it. Read it. 
But you did it. it. Está lloviendo aquí, papá. Ah, it's rainy. Yes, puede entrar los pericos y todo eso. <laughs> do you have, do you have, do you have no, birds? No, no. La ropa, la ropa, Richard, yes, vaya a entrar. Yes. Los plumeres. So get your clothes. Get your clothes. Okay. Okay, guys, very nice, very nice. Y vamos con el último. Let's go with the last, okay? So we have watermelon. You have a very nice a group of ideas. Now with wood, that's just perfect. And the last one, guys. What activities can you make with a knife? First, what is the meaning of knife? Get some knife. Cuchillo. Uh -huh, exactly, cuchillo. What can you do with a knife? Cut. Cut fruit. Cut, okay. Mm -hmm. Cut fruit. Killer. <laughs> Kill somebody. Oh Killer my God. Dancing. Killer dancers. What are you thinking about? Okay. It's an example. <laughs> Okay, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mm. mind? A cut a piece of cake. Clown. René dice Clown. ir a poner a la 42. <laughs> Re, oh, no, hombre, sí, René, sí, calmate. No, guys, come on, no. <laughs> okay, creo que alguien mencionó un gato o un, un gas, I'm not sure. Cut a piece of cake. Ah, cut a piece of cake. Okay, cut a piece of cake. ¿Qué más? Cut meat. Ajá, uh -huh, like cutting meat. Okay, what else? Think about a knife. What can you do? Cut vegetable. Cut vegetable, okay. What about pelar? How do you say pelar algo? Like fruit or vegetables? A teacher. Yes. In okay, the melon, the melon. Mm -hmm. Is a oh, sorry, the melon is a seasonal fruit, and mm -hmm. in the la tiendona, mm -hmm. that moment are trucks with thousands of deer. This oh. moment. Because so there are a lot of watermelons. Because it's the season. Oh, I didn't know. The season it's a seasonal fruit. This is the season for watermelon. This, this like almost. Ooh, it's amazing. A, it, because it's a winter. It's a fruit. I didn't know. You know. Well, because... thank you so much for the information. I didn't know that I could eat a lot of watermelon in August. <laughs> That is it for me. <laughs> okay, I really love watermelon, but I didn't know. Okay, cool. In, cool. in, in that in that moment, is correct to buy too much melon because the price. You is mean water, watermelon, right? Price, watermelon. Yeah, okay. The, oh, okay. Because the, the price is low. slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I mean I'm asking if watermelon because también está melon que son los melones, right? And you have also honeydew, que es como el otro melón de color, right? <laughs> so, but, but they oh, are like yeah. so similar. I know, I know. Uh -huh. Green, yeah, the color green and the color... Yellow, uh, like yellowish, no, orange. Yellow, I don't know. <laughs> orange, yellow, orange, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But, but, okay. but twice, twice is a good flavor, yeah. I don't like melon. <laughs> I mean, they are good, uh -huh. but, but then, yeah. You, you, you only need to visit the Mercado La Tiendona. I need to go to La Tiendona for watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, definitely. Okay. I will try. Yes? My father, my father is in the Tiendona. Oh, really? Your yeah. father, what does, what does he sell? Um, fruit, vegetables, uh, fruit, chicken, fruit. 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 Oh, really? Yes. Okay. But the I only problem is that I cannot eat more than a watermelon. I, I interconnect. I interconnect. <laughs> but but no, I, I cannot eat a lot of watermelon. <laughs> there is too much sugar on it. All right. But nice, nice. That, that's a, a good idea. 
voy a comprar y voy a revender, you know. I'm going to make my business <laughs> with watermelon. All right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. That's really nice. Very good ideas with knife as well. So you got it. Good. Let's, let's just go ahead today. Vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de present continuous. And uh, to get us started here, let's go over the following. Here we have, talk about activities I'm doing at my workplace. Si les pregunto, por ejemplo, hey guys, what are you doing right now? Es mentira que me van a decir, ah, oh, teacher, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Or teacher, I'm just listening to you. Siempre estamos haciendo, well, I don't know if you are like me, but yo necesito hacer varias actividades a la vez. I need to do like a lot of activities at the same time. So I'm checking my computer. I'm checking my other computer, you know. Um, um, well, I have my computer in front, you know. Um, for example, reading the messages that some of your classmates eh, todavía se van a conectar, you know. So I'm doing a lot of activities at the same time. What about you? Uh, how many activities are you doing right now? ¿Cuántas actividades están haciendo ahorita? What activities are you doing right now? So, for example, uh, I'm paying attention to what you're saying. I am checking my two computers. I am, um, what else am I doing? I am talking. <laughs> teacher, okay. my, teacher yes. my example about that that's a topic. You and have been there, really, I guess. Uh, and you really know, sorry, about <laughs> uh, in Sayapango, it has started the rain. Oh, and okay. So it's, it's raining. It's coming, it's, it's coming with force. Really? How, how, how what, what is viento in English? Wind. Wind. Ah, uh, it is, is how. Windy. Wind too much. Oh, okay. So there is some wind as well. All right. So it is windy. It is raining. Okay. Okay. What about the rest of, well, it is raining. That's that's definitely it. What about the rest of you guys? A lot of you. Oh, Jocelyn, hello. Me imagino que está lloviendo también ahí. So I guess it's yes, raining, it's, right? Uh, yes. Oh. A lot of. So it's raining and uh, it's it's windy. It's hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to see you there. How are you? Come in, come in. Fine, thank you. Uh, uh, right now, I, I, I read in my house. In, mm -hmm. Excuse me for, for, a little, for a little in the class. Oh, no, no worries, Miss Melera. I'm so happy to see you there. And thank you so much for the time. So, Oh, okay, so imagine that we are describing like everything that is going on around. So guys, ¿qué, qué están haciendo? What are you doing right now? So not everybody's just listening. Normally estamos haciendo dos, tres cosas and people alrededor nuestro está haciendo algo más, right? Like our neighbors, your family. And for example, I think my sister is outside and she is chatting with some friends, or maybe she is chatting with my mother. I don't know. <laughs> what about you guys? So what is people in your family doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are they doing? Parents are watching. Oh, what are they watching? Give me this news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the news. In I what think. manner? What do they I watch? Know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But they are watching the news. <laughs> okay, great. Or, What or, about the rest of it? The news or the soap opera? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What is the soap opera? Mm, no, I don't know. What is the I I know my mom likes the turkish turkeys <laughs> uh, okay okay oh 
I didn't know they were broadcasted on the TV. Okay. <laughs> so maybe they are watching a Turkish <laughs> soap opera, what? maybe the news. Okay. For Hola. example, por ahí escuché un perrito. Bien. No sé en, en el audio de quién fue. So, guys, ¿cómo decimos ladrando? Bark. Barks. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, ladrar is bark. You can say, like, my dog is barking, right? Or the cat is meowing. <laughs> All right. Something like that. So, um, yeah. So, what is people doing around you? ¿Qué están haciendo las personas alrededor de ustedes? What are they doing? I believe in my room there is a gecko <laughs> making some noise. So there is a gecko here, I think. All right, guys, what about in your house? So what are they doing? So let, let me ask a couple of you. So Marvin, Marvin Lopez, are you around Marvin? Ahorita guardé los chuchos porque está lloviendo. Hi, <laughs> Alex. Okay. Oh, it is raining. So, okay. But how would you say that? ¿Cómo, cómo puedo decir estoy guardando los perros? <laughs> o estoy entrando los perros. <laughs> eh, eh, my pets in out my home. Okay. So you're taking your dogs in. All right. Uh, Brenda, what are you doing, Brenda? Guys, no me dejen en visto. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess she yes, has uh, stood up or something. So um, you're going to tell me like in a couple of seconds what you're doing. No worries. Hi, Jackie. Good evening. Nelson, hello. Thanks a lot for joining. Um, mm -mm. I see Danny too. Creo que Danny estaba en tráfico. Um, ¿Quién más me hacía falta? I see Jocelyn already. I think, okay. I think we're good. Solo alguien se, creo que alguien lo sacó al inter. Somebody's out. Sí, okay. Hello. I am, I am interring my hammock. Sorry. Oh, you're like, why? Oh, because it's raining. Rain, yeah. So you're moving the hammock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just Thank a you. moment, please. Oh, sure, no worries, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this one. Here we have a little conversation, right? About what some people are doing right now. So remember that present continuous, no solamente es como para ahorita, sino uh, Ignacio nos acaba de decir, I am entering my hammock. No lo estaba haciendo en este momento, pero también lo utilizo para futuro como voy a hacer esto en un momento, right? So let's take a look at this one. I have a little conversation here between <clears throat> Pedro and Max. Um, sorry, I have Peter and Max. And uh, can I have some volunteers reading it? Sé que en algunos lugares está lloviendo. Probablemente el internet no está como muy, muy estable. But if your internet is working, so help me, please. Can I ayuda con Pedro? Who wants to help me? Thank you, Brian. So you can help me with Peter. And you. thank you. Moses, ¿es un poco mejor? Yes. Nice. No, si gusto no active la cámara para que nos dé uh, mejor audio. Uh -huh. Nos ayude con Max, por favor. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Regit. Oh, so Brian, you go with Max. Good morning, Mr. Regit. This is Max from All I Can Hear You. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about how to design. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are seeking on some reference. We are planning to promote this as a manager. Mr. Just, Mr. Sanchez doesn't have any importance, and the Cuba we have a vote. Who from his supervisor is that he is? I see. Do you consider he has what 
it is recruited at a managerial position? Yes. Thank you so much, boys. All right. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Moses. So let's take a Welcome. look at some vocabulary we have right here. For example, um, something important is, le preguntaron references. We are checking on some references. Como cuando aplicamos a un empleo y luego nos ya, le llaman a quienes nos refirieron, right? So we are checking on the references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Recordemos que la palabra promote no significa solamente como una promoción de algo de estoy vendiendo y la tona está en el dos por uno and that is promote, promotion. No necesariamente. Promote or promotion puede ser como subir de nivel en el trabajo, right? So we are planning to promote him as a manager. Estamos pensando en promoverlo al, al siguiente peldaño, right? So that is promote. Then we have Mr. Sanchez doesn't have any warning. I like this word. What is the meaning of warning? Guys, tienen algún warning? In your workplace, alguien tiene algún warning? <laughs> what is the meaning of warning? So, no sé si se han fijado, guys. For example, en los lugares de alta tensión or something like that, dice hazard or dice warning. So warning is como, um, let's say, cuando usted hace algo mal. Right? Yeah, exactly. Cuando nosotros hacemos algo malo, viene nuestro jefe y no nos despiden inmediatamente. They don't fire us, sino que they are like, okay, Julie, venga para acá. <laughs> so Julie, come here. Don't do this, don't do that, you know. Y first, solo tenemos un verbal warning. So warning is an advertencia, right? Un llamado de atención, if you want to see that better. Tenemos verbal warning, que solo nos dicen, nos dan un regañito. Y tenemos written warning, que ya es escrito, right? So in your companies, do, they, do you receive warnings? Les dan como advertencias? Do you get warnings? Like verbal warnings? Como llamados de atención? Uy, se quiere ir la luz también acá. Yes, Do you receive yes. verbal warning? Yes, yes. Teacher, teacher, sorry. In my case, I have in, in our company, I have a, a writing warning. Written warning. warning. Ya le han dado yeah, algún write, warning. Writing, writing warning. Why? What did you do? <laughs> sorry, I can't speak about <laughs> It's okay, no worries. That's fine. Okay, so normally we, we do something que no, no debimos no, it, de haber hecho, that we shouldn't no, have the, done it. Sorry, but the topic is, is I, 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 I think the, my boss is confused with me, with my case. Okay. But, but it, my, my, uh, my opinion is different about mm -hmm. him. So that moment I, I, I can speak about. Oh, no, it, it's fine. No worries. Deme un segundito. Solo me cambio con los datos. Oh, Carlos, no electricity. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, de hecho, creo que acaban de ver los apagones here. Como que se quiere la luz también. But hopefully it won't happen. Okay. I hope we can finish the class. <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, we normally receive warnings as Ignacio said, probably fue un error, maybe it was a mistake. Okay, pero ni modo, ya quedan en nuestro archivo, right? Guys, ¿quién tiene warnings? ¿Quién nos quiere contar de sus warnings? De sus llamados de atención. Anybody? I think nobody wants to tell us about it. <laughs> So yeah. it's okay. Yes, Richard. My case. Um, Tell us. Working uh, service game. Customer. Customer service. Customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I at attended. Uh, my boss. Uh, siempre me llama la atención por eso. 
Oh, so you receive warnings. <laughs> yes, siempre, siempre, todos los días. Pero why? Pero es que un warning, Richard, es un poquito más serio. Yes. So, uh -huh, so warning es ya como un, como una advertencia, you know, algo bien serio. Uh, also. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so it says here. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. Entonces, warning, ya yeah, son estas advertencias that we get. Y también tenemos la palabra feedback. Creo que más de alguna vez la han utilizado. So feedback in, es como retroalimentación. What people say about us. So lo que nuestros jefes nos dicen que estamos haciendo trabajo bien o necesitamos mejorar. So that is called feedback, right? And pretty much that's it. So take a look at the following part. Um, lo que tenemos in, in bold, the person says, we are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. So lo están pensando. They are still thinking a little bit about that. Vamos a revisar primero esta parte de um, present continuous. Y luego nos vamos a ir a revisar algunas qualities que necesitamos para ser un buen empleado, right? So in the meantime, revisamos a little bit of present continuous. How to use present progressive or present continuous for ongoing activities. No nos vamos a enfocar mucho en grammar, porque yo sé que ustedes son súper buenos con esto. Así que vamos a ir directo al ejercicio here. Solo un breve recap. Present continuous es el que utilizamos subject, luego el verb y luego el ing. For example, ¿qué están haciendo? Oh, I am eating. I am checking my computer. I am thinking about electricity problems. <laughs> okay, I am listening to the crickets. Okay, I am um, uh, speaking a lot. All right. So, simple as I am, y luego el ing. So, let's take a look at this one. Write sentences using present progressive form of the verbs in parentheses. Lo podemos utilizar con cualquier pronombre. Like what you are doing, lo que están haciendo sus neighbors, your boss, your co-worker, your family, etc. For example, number one, ooh, I'm into, um, I am thinking or I am planning, estoy planeando, I am planning to go to Santa Ana this weekend, all right? I am planning to clean my room on Saturday. <laughs> I am planning to get a new job in December. So guys, what about you? ¿Qué están planeando? What are you planning to do? ¿Cuáles son sus, you know, estamos en septiembre. We are in September. Casi se nos ve el año. So, en estos últimos meses that we are missing, nos faltan tres meses. So what are you planning to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? Any plans, any ideas? Guys, si tienen problemas con el, uh, el internet o la lluvia, escríbanmelos, write them in the chat. That's perfect. So, for me, it's easy. Uh -huh. What are you planning to do? Yeah, for tomorrow. That I mean, moment, I, that moment, I planning to start, to plan for tomorrow to start the pumping test of a uh, well in the Don Bosco University in, in, uh -huh. San, in Feapango. Cool. The, the university Don Bosco have a well, water well. I, I didn't know. Nice, nice for them. Yeah, so you're going in, to start, you're planning to start the test tomorrow. Yeah, because Today at night we we finish the installed the pump the pump the the pumping machine oh okay the, the pump and tomorrow we need to start mm -hmm. the pumping yeah the the pumping and and take uh, information about the flow water. Nice, nice. It's, it's, it's my, it's my, it's my. Your example. My example. In real, it, it, 
you really are. Uh, and there is a reality. Really, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that, that's that, amazing. That planning that, that planning plan in my in my sorry, I don't know in Spanish what say agenda. That's your agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cool. And thank you so much for sharing your example, Ignacio. So I hope it works. Okay, guys, les voy a dar cinco minutos. I will give you five minutes. Vamos a utilizar los verbos que tenemos acá para escribir ejemplos, right? Five minutes, guys. So, creo que ya comenzó a llover acá también. One more minute.
All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. I am checking your examples. Eh, yo sé que está lloviendo, de hecho, está lloviendo súper fuerte acá. No sé si me logren escuchar o... Bueno, uh, well, espero que sí. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm reading your sentences. So please write them down. Write them down. I'm going to be like checking it down.
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot uh, for your examples. Actually, they are really good. I was taking a look at what you have written. Super bien, muy buena gramática, like spelling, super, super good. Sorry, um, so I'm having problems with electricity. Y está un poquito fuerte acá, pero me confirman si me escuchan bien, please. Yes, I am listening to you. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you so much. So yeah, hopefully teacher. we can make it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Se está lloviendo fuerte, like, literalmente today, cats and dogs. <laughs> it's like super, super heavy. But thank you. Yeah, I'm um, like, I know, it's been raining crazily. All right, so, super bien, I'm glad. Mabel, I was taking a look at yours. Muy buen spelling, number two. I'm going to the gym again. Super nice. No se les olvide el punto final. Parece eh, sin importancia, but el punto final también es parte de la oración, right? Pero lo demás, super, super bien. I'm planning a surprise party for my sister. Oh, cool. Invite us. <laughs> Sara y llévenos, please. I see, no sé quién dijo al inicio, like some seconds ago, que iba para Eramon. So you're planning to go to Eramon. Guys, please, invite me to Iván. So, I, <laughs> I, my plan is I go to visit the Eramon Mountain. I am being glamping in her place. When are you going to Eramon? Invite me, please. I need to go there. Okay. That is the place I need to go. <laughs> well, last I weekend, I, I checked your visit at the Ilamata Pell Volcano. Ah, yes. I went to the volcano. But... Pero el plan era Eramon, so <laughs> I, oh, I really want to go to Eramon as well. Um, okay, so Guadalupe is going to the beach in December. Cool. 
I'm speaking with my classmates, okay? I'm gonna graduate in October. I'm planning to go to Guatemala. Yes, Norberto, enjoy it. Super good. I'm planning to go camping for the weekend. Mabel, is that for real? So I hope you can enjoy it. Nelson says he is going to travel out of the country. Nelson, para donde va? Where are you traveling to? Guatemala. Are you going there uh, for business or for work or for pleasure? For pleasure. Nice. Enjoy it. Que lo disfrute, Nelson. Cool. Where are you going? Where in Guatemala? It's a zoo. Where? A zoo. In a zoologic. Are you going to Aurora? Yes, Aurora. Enjoy it. Take pictures of the penguins. Y nos manda las pictures. <laughs> okay. I went to Aurora like a lot of time ago. Pero, can you believe me? No encontré los pingüinos. <laughs> I didn't find the penguins. So please take a picture for me. Thank you, guys. Very good examples. Now, ahora sí, let's take a look at the following part. Um, things, como tenemos dificultades con, you know, rain, internet, some of us, vamos a trabajar un poquito individualmente today para evitar, you know, que alguien me lo dejen solito. So take a look at this part. At the beginning, we have this little exercise. What are some uh, qualities of a good employee needs to have? Antes de ir, you know, let me see what time is it. Yes. Vamos a terminar ahora con un poquito de grammar, but in the meantime, vamos a irnos con un poco de speaking. It says here, what are the, some good qualities a good employee needs to have? Make a list and what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Creo que todos en algún momento hemos querido que nos den una promotion, right? To get, um, to, to get another job probably, to, um, to be managers, etc. O en las empresas donde ustedes están, entraron con una posición, but now ya se movieron. So, antes de irnos and before continuing with the speaking practice, Perdón, con la grammar practice, vamos a trabajar un poquito con esta pregunta. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? First, ¿se consideran ustedes? Do you consider yourself good employees? ¿Son buenos empleados? Are you a good employee? Are you a good Yes, yeah, teacher. So, so, miss. <laughs> Why? 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 Okay, Clary, cuéntanos, why? ¿Qué le hace falta? Oh, why? <laughs> Are you a good employee? ¿Son buenos empleados? Or what? Llegar más temprano, mis. Oh, eso llega un poquito tarde. Well, creo, Clary, que nos contó una vez que llegaba como justo a la hora, right? Al yes. rostro de la hora. <laughs> okay, so here it says, uh, are you a good employee? All right. ¿Qué está haciendo? So what are you doing para decir que es un buen empleado? O que es lo que no está haciendo, okay, para ser un buen empleado. Vamos a tomarlo desde nuestra personal perspective, okay? So what are you doing to become a good employee? What are you doing to be a good employee. ¿Cuáles son aquellas actividades que están haciendo para decir, uh, él necesita una promoción, you know, he deserves it. Él se lo merece. And what are the things that, what are you missing? Now what do you need? What do you need to do to be a good employee? A 
Okay. So, for example, cuando queremos, um, o cuando sabemos que hay un opening, right? Empezamos a hacer más actividades. And you're like, voy a hacer esto, you know, uh, porque quiero un ascenso, for example. So, what are you doing to be a good employee? Están llegando temprano. In my case, for example, I am getting to work on time, or I am arriving in time. En mi caso, eh, me, me conecto temprano. <laughs> so, I am joining, I am joining the meeting on time. So, me conecto most of the times como 10 minutos antes. I, I try to be on time like every single day, all right? So, I am joining the meeting on time. Um, what am I doing? In your case, guys, ¿qué están haciendo para ser buenos empleados? I can say, for example, estoy haciendo mi trabajo. I am doing my job the best way I can. The best way possible, you know? So lo mejor que puedo, right? The best way I can. What do, what do I need to do to be a good employee? ¿Qué necesito hacer para ser mejor empleado? In your case, guys, ¿qué necesitan? What do you think you need? Podemos utilizar I need para explicar eso, right? I need to... Necesito hacer... How do you say comprometido? Comire. Comire. Ok, so I need to be... Quizás necesito ser más, más comprometido. I need to be more... Committed, right? Probably, esta podría ser. Or, for example, necesito ser más puntual. So I need to be more punctual because I have right to classes a little late. Well, in my case, right? Because I have right to classes a little late and I have to be here 20 minutes before, etc. Or I need to... So... Piensen un poquito como en qué es lo que necesitan mejorar. What are the things that you need to improve or change to be better, all right? So I'm going to give you like five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que piensen, les escriban. Y luego vamos con one minute talk. Luego vamos con las presentaciones de un minuto.
October, guys. Si ya lo tienen listo, if you have it ready. Um, si sienten que es como demasiado fácil, if you know how to say it, no lo escriban. It is not necessary to do so. Solamente con el microphone off lo pueden practicar. You can practice. And of course, pueden decirlo en voz alta. So you can say it out loud para ustedes mismos, para que ustedes vayan organizando sus, sus ideas como en el aire, right? So I'll give you two more minutes. And then uh, vamos a intentar escucharlos a todos. We're going to try to listen to everybody. Especialmente quienes, you know, um, no los escuchamos muy seguido. So this is your opportunity, guys. This is your time to shine. Sigue lloviendo en sus casas. Guadalupe, is it raining there? Ignacio, ya vi el video you sent. Is it raining? Sigue lloviendo? Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, teacher. But, but, but this moment is a, is a slow, slow rain. Oh, okay. So it has stopped. By the way, hay una palabra probably que no la hemos visto que es como um, llover, pero de lloviznar, right? <laughs> so, creo que no la hemos revisado. So, esta palabra es drizzle, right? So, de llovizna, uh, de... Drizzle. Ajá, uh -huh. drizzle es llovizna, como cuando empieza a gotear solamente. So, drizzle, o para decir está lloviznando, así de suavecito, we can say it is drizzling. So, it is drizzling. It is drizzling. For example, in my house right now, it, it is stopped raining and just it is drizzling. So this is why we can say it's raining or it is drizzling, right? I'll give you some seconds. And then I want to listen to your presentation.
Okay, guys, one more minute. already everybody so are you ready do you need more time uh, talk to me please and tell me what's going on ya todos lo terminaron like the parts of qué es lo que están haciendo para ser buenos empleados what you're doing to become really good employees or necesitan más tiempo do you need more time Is everybody ready? Teacher, in my case, uh, more time. I need more time. Okay, okay, no worries. I'll give you like two minutes because I think it's the same case for the rest of your classmates. So it's okay, I'll give you like two or three more minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you, Norbert. Thank Sigue you. Sigue lloviendo, right, Norbert? Yes, yes. Wow. A little, a little. Okay, yeah, también acá. So here it's raining a little bit as well. Okay, no worries, I'll give you three more minutes. Okay, thank you.
Okay, okay guys hello we are going to get started right so uh, i really want to listen to some of you uh gracias carlos thank you so much carlos is it raining Guys, do you know, um, hay alguna tormenta tropical or anything que, han, que hayan avisado? No remember, teacher. No, right? I didn't know. Well, aunque todo este mes es como zona, es tiempo lluvioso también, right? Yes. So hopefully we can make it the whole week. All right, guys. So listen up. Uh, I really want to listen to you guys. So lo que nos quieran compartir, that is more than welcome. And uh, pretty much es como, es algo bien cortito. It's like just little pieces of information sobre if you are a good employee and what are some of the things that you need to do para ser un buen empleado, right? So ustedes pueden ser, well, Ustedes son súper conscientes and we are like, oh, necesito mejorar esto. I need to improve the other. <laughs> okay, so uh, Norbert, would you like to go first? Okay. Amazing, Norbert. Let's do it. Uh, in my case, uh, first, I am arriving early to, uh, to joy. Um, I am doing responsible weeks obligation. Uh, I am doing my jobs the best I can. Uh, I am doing respectful uh, weeks my boss and the rest of the people. Uh, only teacher. Okay. Now, what do you need to do? to be a good employee. ¿Qué es algo en lo que tenga que trabajar? What is something you need to work on? Mm. No hay días, so Omar. <laughs> no se preocupe. Sí, síguelo síguelo uh, pensando un poquito. So continue thinking about it. Y nos cuenta luego, no hay problema. <laughs> thank you, Norbert. Good. Very good job. Okay, thanks a lot for sharing that. Okay, guys, next person. Are you a good employee? Son buenos empleados. And, Me, teacher. Uh, yes, please. Deme un segundo solo. I'm going to... Uh, un segundo here. Go, Clary. Go, 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 go. Um, what do you, what do you need to do to be a good employee, Clary? <laughs> I need to be more disciplined <laughs> at all. Okay. I need better organize my time. Uh -huh. Only that means discipline and organize. Oh, okay. So you need to, to have more discipline and to yes. be organized with everything. But now the first one, are you a good employee? So, entonces, ¿qué está haciendo? What are some of the good things que ya está haciendo? Porque eso es como su área de oportunidad. Now, what about qué es lo que usted ya está haciendo? For the moment, nothing. No, but to be a good employee, I mean, I guess you are a good employee. I mean, de, de, cier de cierta forma, si es una buena empleada, right? A little. <laughs> La siento así yes. como no muy segura. <laughs> okay, so you are a good employee. <laughs> okay, ¿qué está haciendo, Clary? What, what are you doing? I mean, eh, 
completa todas las actividades que tiene. Do you complete your activities? Eh, do you talk to your boss? Do you meet with your boss regularly? So, what activities are you doing? Mm, esas dos cosas que dije, necesito mejorar, pero no he empezado a hacer nada. Oh. Para ser sincera, yes. Ok, ok, pero nunca es tarde. <risa> Eso sí. It is never too late, exactly. And who knows, si quizás la promoción llegue, you know, for accomplishing those activities. It, uh, thank you so much, Clary. So that's all right. Thank you for sharing okay. those things with us. Ok, Ignacio, oh, sure. yes, Ignacio, go for it. For me, it's easy because... Uh, I am a good employee because also to arrive an hour before the chicken time. Llego antes de la hora. Ya en I give more than what the system ask of me and I attend to customer even during non-working hours and days. Wow. Uh, that is good for me. And, and the, the boss mm -hmm. think good about me. Oh, yeah. okay. It's it, 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 easy. Yeah, it, it's, I am only to arrive in hour before the check-in time. You know? Okay, one hour. It is it, my secret. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But arriving one hour, that's a lot of time. <laughs> it's bastante. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So you are right on one hour and you stay later, you said, like taking care of the, of the activities or the requests of your boss. Okay. Amazing. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else? Guys, que nos quiere compartir? You know, are you a good employee? It, it, yeah. You know, and I attend to customer even during non-working hours and days. But this is in my cell phone. Okay. Uh, like you know. if, like for example, if somebody tiene como like a question, is something to ask. So usted no tiene ninguna dificultad respondiéndole, ayudándole, etc. Yeah, it, that, that's correct. Okay, got it. Thank you so much for sharing that. Anybody else? Alguien más? Mi teacher. Yes, Anita, tell us. I consider her a, a good employee. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> because I, I finish my activities mm -hmm. uh, for day. And I, I will be much better and I give me accent and or incentive. Oh, nice. Okay. So, Anita, how many times, cuantas veces, how many times have you gotten a promotion? Cuantas veces le han dado como un ascenso, like a promotion in your company? Uh, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. And nice. Only. And I have a, a 10 years in the company. In the company. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. I mean, that's super, super cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Anita, for sharing your uh, experience with us. That's really nice. Okay. Anybody else? ¿Quién nos quiere contar, guys? Who wants to tell us? I mean. Yes, please, Guadalupe. Guadalupe, ya está lloviendo menos. Is it better? Yes, it's menos. Sí, aquí también, you know. So, yo creo que ya va a regresar la luz. <laughs> So hopefully, I'm in the darkness, por eso es que ven la luz como bailando here. Because uh -huh. vi la foto de Carlos como, creo que se le fue la, la, la luz un momento, right, Carlos? Yes. So, y cuando se le fue, se me fue la luz también acá. <laughs> so, but, but thank God, ya casi nos vamos, so it is about time. <laughs> All right, tell, me, tell us Guadalupe. Okay, miss. I think I am a good employee uh -huh. because 
arrive uh, very early at my job. The time is 7 a.m. and I am arrived uh, at 6 a.m. Wow, one hour before. Uh, Yes, I respect the pol police policies, policies. The, the my company. Okay. And I committed with my job. I think uh, that I can to get better uh, demanding with my teams. Uh, that's it. Okay, wow, that was beautiful. I like the way you presented those things. And, 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 and yeah, that's really nice. So you said you think you can get better by being more demanding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. but demanding with yourself. With my team. Like with the people, with the team. Oh, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so demanding is como más exigente, right? So you want yes. to be more demanding with the people you work with. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Why? No, why? Look at poor people. <laughs> okay. That was a nice, nice description. I like it. And I, I, I'm going to tell you why. Porque no solamente me dio oraciones así cortas, sino que you try to explain it. Very nice. Cool. I like it. Thank you Thank so you. much. All right. Next person. Who else, guys? ¿Quién nos quiere contar un poquito? I know that is Monday that we are like, oh, estoy viendo, quiero dormir. But <laughs> just two more people. Two more people, guys. Who wants to tell us a little bit about if you are a good employee? Yes, Richard, I know. Se fue la electricidad también de Richard. Okay. Anybody? I can select some victims. So. In my case, <laughs> yes, go, please. In my case, I consider myself a normal employee, but I need to improve some, mm -hmm. something in, in my life. For example, and I need to finally finalizar my career to finish to finish my career oh. then i need to learn the uh, english uh -huh. and okay. i need to learn uh, I, I need to learn uh, knowledge knowledge about the traffic traffic light traffic uh, normas legales uh, perdón de de las normas de tránsito Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, just a question, what is your career? Lawyer. Oh, yeah. no, seriously? Yes. So how yeah. many years did you study or what is your semester? I, what was I, the last semester? I started about the old career, but I, I didn't continue. But maybe the next years I will to, I will to start again. Wait, so you finished all, yes. you almost finished your career. My, my, ¿cómo se dice? Materias. The subjects. My subject, I finished my, my subject. But no. uh, you're I missing didn't. the graduation process. Yes, but I didn't continue. Oh, okay. the, 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 but I didn't continue, but in my, my goal, my, but I think to, to start, the next the next year please do it <laughs> teacher, wow. teacher yes Ignacio. sorry but i i i think the uh, maybe rene want to be a deputy like a congressman yeah maybe the lawyers all the wow. people study lawyers they One, can be congressmen. The congressmen. <laughs> wow, but, but, hey, I'm, but hey. I'm so... Well, I'm so surprised because I didn't know, René, that you almost finished your career. No, René, pero si le falta solo el graduation process, que tal vez le tome como un año, dele, go for it. I mean, try to finish your career. Cuesta, you know, because it's not that easy thing, pero, pero you can make it. Oh, my God, you can be a lawyer. 
Wow. Okay. So you're only me. Okay, you're only missing uh, one the graduation process. Pero qué tipo de lawyer quieres ser? What type of lawyer do do you want to be? In, in my case, I like to the penal, el derecho penal. Nice. Yes. Cool. No, super bien. So la especialización, like your specialty, sería en eso, right? Like yes. in crimin criminal things. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Related to process trials. Go for it. No, hombre, le falta un poquito, René. You can do it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so hey, you hey, hey, René. René. Listen. Hey. For me, it is a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It definitely but, but is. For you in in this in the class in English you explain about your your job in when you going to attend to client in your motorcycle and if you finish the your career you to time too much uh, muchas cosas buenas I mean, a lot of a lot of things can definitely happen in your life. <laughs> no, but that, that that's amazing. I mean, people, if you have a dream, go for it. You know, so cuesta muchas veces decidirse. I know that is hard, but you can definitely give it a try. I remember, for example, Clary at the very beginning mencionaba que iba a aplicar a una uh, beca. I don't know if I'm mistaken. Yes, Clary. Yes. Yeah. What, what about how 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 about your process? Ya aplicó. No, porque necesito tener todos los niveles. No, Miss, come on. Yes. <laughs> Le piden examen. Are you required like an exam? Eh, no. Pero sí, uno de los requisitos que piden es tener todo lo, todos los niveles. Okay, okay. Pero me imagino yes. que le hacen una evaluación inicial. I guess you get like yes. an evaluation, okay. Mm -hmm. O le piden TOEFL, TOEIC, una certificación or something. TOEFL or? Oh. TOEIC. TOEIC, yes. Okay, okay. So means same thing, you know. So, uh, puede tener TOEFL. You, you can get TOEFL or TOEIC, you know, especialmente los niveles intermedio that you're gonna like go for grammar, speaking a lot. So, you know, you do your best, Miss. You can definitely get it. You can make it there. Creo que también Eduardo estaba en la maestría. I think Eduardo was studying a master's. So this is like really, really interesting because, because of the way, you know, you're explaining the things that you can do to become better employees. So thank you, Rene, for sharing that. Thank you, Clary. That's really, really cool. Anybody else? Alguien más nos quiere compartir, guys? What you are doing to be a good employee, okay, les falta. What you consider you need to become a good employee. Do we have more? Anybody else? Not yet. All right. I guess you're very quiet today. <laughs> okay, guys, no worries. So um, let's just finish up today with a little exercise. And uh, hopefully we do have time for this. Y si no, pues nos queda, you know, for tomorrow. Vamos a hacer una, un breve recuento de presente simple, que son temas que ya los vimos, con presente continuo, que es el tema de ahora con ING. Hagamos esta breve comparación súper rapidito. ¿De cuál es la diferencia? Presente simple, presente continuo. Presente continuo nos ayuda a explicar cosas que ahorita están pasando. O cosas que estoy haciendo este mes, esta semana, que no son rutina normalmente. O lo voy a utilizar para futuro y hablar de mis planes, right? Take a look at this one. Presente simple es una rutina. Siempre, siempre, siempre sucede. Ayúdenme con estos ejercicios, please. Vamos a combinar ambos. ambos. Presente simple con presente continuo. All right. For example, number one. This is Mrs. Y. She. ¿Qué me falta en el primer espacio? What is missing in the first part? Miss. She is a primary school teacher. She. Tengo acá 
El primer verbo teach. She teaches or she is teaching. What do you think? She is teaching. Teaching. She is teaching. Podría ser. It could be. All right. She is teaching English, math, and geography. Como que ahorita lo estaba enseñando, right? Pero si fuera una rutina que siempre lo hace, que siempre enseña las tres materias, ¿cómo podría explicarlo? She teaches. She teaches. Exactly. So she teaches. All right. Good, good, good. Let's move on. At the moment. At the moment. Es porque ahorita está pasando, right? So at the moment. She is teaching. She is teaching. Ahora sí. So at the moment, she is teaching math. Next one. What about the next? She. She lives living in London. She lives living in London. She lives. What do you think? She lives or she is living? She is living. She is living. She is living. Algunas veces ambas se pueden. Digamos acá que she is living. She lives también se puede. That's okay. She is living in London and... Y está casada. And... Married. 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 Mm, pero necesito el verbo to be acá. ¿Cuál sería la forma adecuada del verbo to be? She been or she is? If she is. She is married to George, who is French. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Uh, they. They have or they are having. ¿Cuál de las dos? They have. They have. They have three children. Okay. Now next one. They love or they are loving. They are loving. Are loving. ¿A ellos les gustan los animales o como que ahorita nada más les están gustando? They love or they are loving. They all love. Algunos verbos no se pueden utilizar con ing. So love es uno de ellos. They all love animals. But okay. they, pero no tienen. But they... Don't have. They love animals, but they don't have. They don't have, don't have any, pets. any pets. Exactly, no. because they they are living. They are living in an apartment. Sí, podría ser. They are living in an apartment, or ellos viven. They live in an apartment. Ambas estarían bien. They live or they are living. Mrs. White don't speak French. Speaking French. ¿Cuál sería? Speaks. Speaks. Or... Oh, ok, Mrs. Porque White. Habla. Speaks, right? Habla French as well as English. Pero no lo enseña, but she doesn't teach. Doesn't teach it. Perfect, perfect. I like it. Exacto. Eh, muy buen trabajo recordándose del negativo. She doesn't, all right. Súper bien con esto. Vamos a seguir practicando mañana la diferencia entre simple present, present continuous, porque algunas veces es una diferencia súper, súper pequeñita. Guys, antes de irnos, solo voy a tomar asistencia. Me ayuden con su camarita, si se puede, please. O eh, solo regálenme confirmación verbal que están acá, especialmente los que me eh, hicieron falta en el primer control. Eh, creo que entraron otros compañeros. I'm not quite sure. So just let me... Let me confirm, I got you. And uh, me hacía falta, I was missing Nelson. Nelson, regálame confirmación, porfa, si está por acá. Gracias, Nelson. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le va, Nelson? Um, con frío ahorita. ¿Está lloviendo? Is it raining there? It's raining now. Raining, oh, okay. Ok, pero gracias, gracias por acompañarnos. Espero verlo también mañana súper early. <ríe> All right, and uh, eh, pues sí, ni modo, son temporadas ya de lluvia. Unfortunately, nos afectan, pero es parte, you know, del clima. So thank you. Me hacía falta, ok, I got Nelson. I was missing Jackie. 
Ya que me regala confirmación si está por ahí, por favor. Miss. Gracias, Miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está todo por allá? Ahorita viene el agua ya. <risa> Se va de acá, empieza ya. All right. Pero gracias, Miss, por acompañarnos. Thank you so much for that. Great to see you there. Eh, Jocelyn también ya está ya estaba por ahí con nosotros. Thank you so much. Uh, Danis. No sé si Danis logró entrar. I think he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Um, let me see. And, ooh, I was only missing Danny. All right. All right, everybody. So thanks a lot for it. Uh, for everything, for quedarse con nosotros a pesar de la lluvia, you know. Thank you so much for joining until the end of the class. Recordemos que el día miércoles terminamos la unidad número tres, así que por favor no se les olvide completar la plataforma. Guys, que disfruten su noche, que duerman súper bien más con estas lluvias. Eh, nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Bye, good night. Ignacio. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Uh, hola, Karina. Yes. Um, I remember that you said we need to make a video when we present video. The video is going to be for Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, I think I mentioned Tuesday, but I think we can have it for Wednesday. Que es el último día, right? That, that's, you know, de hecho, ahora en la mañana me quedé pensando, ¿lo soñé o si les dije? <laughs> I didn't remember. Yeah, pero sí, mis, es para el día miércoles. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay you're Bye. welcome. Bye-bye, mis.